Hi, I'm Suzanne and I'm a really stressed out bunny today, so I want to tap about it. Um, I've had a very interesting morning, shall we say, and um, I'm going to the technique that I know is going to help me with it. I tried to engage the services of a professional who was a complete disaster and a total disappointment and I'm thinking return of investment on my time as a business person was a complete minus big figure <laughs> and I'm laughing because you either laugh or cry and um, I've done my crying earlier sorry I'm just reaching for a tissue just in case I might cry so um, I'm not because obviously third parties were involved I'm not going to talk about them but I'm just going to say Let's just call this whole incident a disaster, okay? Maybe you have had something just happen to you which is causing you to come on here and want some relief for it. And I would say focus on that, you know, not, not completely meditate upon it or dwell upon it. That's not what I mean, but just, just, just briefly focus on, on the thought of what happened, you know, that incident. And, and think to yourself, on a scale from 10 to 0, where 10 is the worst you could feel about it, and 0 is nothing, what number do you feel right now? As I think of the time waste this morning, and all the hope that I had, and all the panic that ensued, because I was hoping to get advice that would help me in my business, it was a complete waste of time, <coughs> a waste of very precious time, should I say. And it actually caused me to have only three hours sleep, which is even more stressful, because the, I, I've had three hours of sleep last night, right? Yeah. And so I'm not happy about having had eight, three hours sleep, and I'm not happy about that person wasting my time. And um, But hey, I, I know logically I've eliminated a professional that isn't going to work for me, and so I know better. But on the other hand, I feel extremely disappointed because I did have high hopes. And I know it's stupid to have high hopes about something, but I did have high hopes and that, that's my own fault. But that's logic. It's logic and there is emotion. And I tell you what, my emotions are up to a 7 out of 10, where 10 is the worst I could feel and 7 is like kind of close to 10. So... I just want to use um, my own kind of tapping. You follow me with other tapping that you know, or um, tap along with me and see what happens. First of all, I just want to put my hands on my heart and put my intention out there that I want this bad feeling all over my body as a result of this stupid time waster this morning to just completely disappear. Okay. Right. This stupid time waster event, I want it to completely disappear with my tapping. And I feel guilty about tapping about it, but hey, it is what it is. All right. So, ah, it's this stupid time waster event. And on the third hour, which is a really nice point to tap on. I don't know if you've discovered it as yet. This stupid time waster this morning. Oh, God, I hate it. What was I thinking? Why was I so stupid as to attend this stupid time waster? This stupid time waster and everything it reminds me of. This stupid event and everything it reminds me of. This stupid event and everything it reminds me of. I want to put my hands on my heart again. Probably making sounds with my microphone at the same time, but never mind. I just have a deep breath from my belly calmly in and out through the nose. How do I feel about this event and the people involved in it, which I feel very angry at, for very good reason? 
because I know them from elsewhere and what I know about them is that they are not necessarily nice people um, or considerate or clever and really an inconsiderate, inattentive, stupid person doing important work for me. Oh, okay, forget it. Um, so let's see. Um, by stupid, by the way, I don't mean low IQ. I mean, like, you know, it's stupid. Somebody can have a very high IQ and be very, very stupid. It's, I think you know what I mean. There are people who are clever and people who are stupid. Stupid people, to me, are people who are inconsiderate, inattentive, don't care, um, are just in a job for the money, um, and end up not making much money because they really genuinely don't care. They just want to get some money. Um, and that's that's why they don't ever succeed because it's only about the money for them. It's not about anything else. Whereas people who are genuinely interested in what they do, they're interested in the money, yes, but they're also interested in what they do, so they tend to do better. Okay. Whatever your bo bothers you, whether it's a relative that said something or a friend that did something or whatever, um, tap along with me and see where we can take it on from there. Okay, so tap with me. This, this horrible event that happened, it's not that horrible. It feels less horrible. It's a 6 out of 10 now. And on the third eye. Ah. This event and everything it reminds me of. This event and everything it reminds me of. This event and everything it reminds me of. By the way, if you can't understand what I'm doing, um, please get my EFT how-to for you at www.eft, E for emotional, F for freedom, T for techniques, hyphen like a minus sign, scripts, S-C-R-I-P-T-S dot com. Download the free guide, have a look at it, try it out, and then come back to this video and tap along with me, okay? Um, this stupid event, at least I can use it to help other people. That feels better, actually. It feels like a 5 out of 10, knowing that perhaps somebody out there will watch this video, tap along, and they'll feel better. That makes me feel better about having gone through what I've been through this morning. So, okay. This event and the time wasting, and I know what it is. What I want to tap for is the hopes dash. I had a lot of hope and the hope was crumbled like a big beautiful building that had been built up for me and then I saw it being bulldozed in front of me or blown up into smithereens and to see that hope completely destroyed in that way was awful. That's what I want to tap on. And that, that's, a nine, that's a nine and a half out of ten. The hope that was destroyed completely. The hope that I allowed myself to have that this stupid, low-paid, idiot person, and again, I'm not talking about IQ, um, wasted for me. Hope wasted. Hope destroyed. Hope destroyed. Hope destroyed. Into a million pieces. Shattered. Hope destroyed. Hope destroyed. Hope destroyed. Hope destroyed. Hope destroyed. Hope destroyed. I'm going to do the nine gamut because it helps me. The nine gamut, you tap on this point here. You close your eyes, open your eyes, look hard down right, hard down left, round in a circle, and a circle the other way, and then you can hum, count, hum, but we're going to leave that bit out. So, 
Hope destroyed. 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 I'm now at a three out of ten. The nine gamut really does it for me. And I, I force my eyes to go all around the edges of that circle. And if there's anywhere in that circle that my eyes don't want to go around, I just force them to go there as I say whatever is bothering me. And I can feel it leaving my body. Now it's at a two out of ten. It's amazing. Hope destroyed. No, my hope was not destroyed. Wow, one out of ten. Hope destroyed. <laughs> Zero. I actually feel better than a zero. I feel... I feel sorry for the people involved. Um, they haven't let me down at all. I have just eliminated one avenue that's not going to work for me. And I am now actively seeking other avenues that will work for me. I feel amazingly free. I'm sorry this worked so quickly for me. Um, for you, you might want to repeat this video and tap, 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 tap till you reach a zero out of ten, where ten is the worst you could feel and zero is nothing, neutral. And then see if you can feel even better than neutral, if you can feel happy, if you can feel calm, if you can feel peaceful, if you can feel at ease. See how you feel. Okay, so keep repeating this video, see how you feel. Um, obviously, please note all the terms and conditions, especially for your own health and safety, on my website, which is www.eft-scripts.com. It's really important for your own health and safety that, that you look at them and make sure that you're safe and supported. Okay, thank you so very much for watching and tapping along with me. I hope this has been helpful for you. It sure as hell been helpful to me. Oh, oops, oh, well, oh, I don't care. I'm just so happy. 